third and final match of the day features Wes Hamner taking on Mark Hamilton. Wes from Richmond, Virginia. Of course, winner of three straight thus far on Duckpin Magic. Mark Hamilton from Lowell, Massachusetts. And Mark has opted to let Wes get us started first here in this match. And he did that. Did just that. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Wes has put some strikes up. I'll say so. This one uh, got the good splash off the right side, and they're out. And here's Mark Hamilton wasting no time. Mark. Off the head pin for eight. Got a little bit of a break in that ball. Mark had 12-14 uh, to qualify. Also had a uh, fine four and one hey, record. Makes the spare look easy. Had a fine four and one record head to head competition, 693 total pinfall. Of all the people that placed first in their division, he had the least in terms of pinfall. And that's why he's in this second to last show away from the final four. But he can certainly earn a place with a win here. All right, another eight count on his behalf. Now, Mark's in an unusual situation because the lanes uh, that he bowled duck pins at in Massachusetts closed down. So, in between pro tour events, he hasn't been bowling duck pins, hasn't bowling at all. So he, you know, goes a month without bowling, and, uh, he, and then he seems to be in the top five all the time. <laughs> Crams in some practice <laughs> sessions somewhere. He has a nice high single of 239 and a high series of 571. Yeah, and here's this guy that's been taking up a lot of our time in the last couple of weeks, Wes Hamner. Boy. Oh, that was a nice ball. Solid nine drop, left the four pin standing. And Wes just keeps mowing them down. Ooh, Ooh just missed that. Haven't seen that before. Not from Wes, anyway. He's hit everything he shot at today. Yep, hit it again, too. A little bit of frustration on that, but missing that ball. So we're tied at 28. It's about the closest anybody's been to Wes in a couple of weeks. for sure. Right back with the seven pin standing. Yeah, he gets to shoot to the left corner again. And these guys have bowled against each other already today in head to head competition. They were in the same division. And West converts the seven pin for a spare. So Mark Hamilton will step in. Mark just plugs along. You can never count them out. He had an outstanding uh, up to ladder series in Hagerstown where he won three matches, including a couple of games well over 170. He had a big high single in Hagerstown, too. Uh, 230-something, I think. Yep. I think it was like 237 or something yeah. to that effect. It was the high game in the tournament. Mark has been on uh, TV okay. before, but I'm sure that uh, he's trying to settle in a little bit to figure out what's going on with uh, the lights, the crowd, the distractions. It's not easy up there. Well, the one ball he hits the head pin on, he rips the middle. Certainly can't count them out. Way too early in this match. Try to look for the 10 box here with the third ball. Hey, nice nice ten from yeah. Mark. 48 after four. I guess if you, if you start out slow, you've seen a guy like West put some big numbers on the board. I mean, he's averaged 168 over the last two games. I guess the only thing you do is figure, well, let me stay close, and at some point when I find my game, maybe uh, I'll still be in it and be yeah. able to overcome whatever Hope, lead he's got. Hopefully you won't be too far behind. Jeez. 
Wes isn't giving people a chance to stay too close to him, though. Another nine drop. He is locked in. Shoot the seven pin again. And he hits that one. West has got 57 plus a ball after four to Mark's 48 after four. Mark's got to be feeling fortunate that uh, he missed the single back in the second frame. Mm hmm. And that he's only got one strike this game. Where that's how he put the other opponents away with the strikes. Now well, there's three through the middle. That 20 pin lead. Pinley. Oh. Okay, that's where we went wrong. And West finishes up with a nine in the fifth frame for a total of 69. Okay. Well, Mark's going to look to put one in there, this box. He's going to get a mark here. Well, got fortunate with West filling with three and having an open. Oh, jeez. Seven eight split. It's a little bit light. It just, the ball never seemed to carry up to the head pin enough. Stayed wide on that ball. He gets a nine box. Now it stays 12 pin advantage for Wes Hamner. And Mark, without the benefit of uh, any marks, well, the last four frames yeah. has stayed close. Yeah. Right, let's get the five pin up and see if he can Knock this one into the pit. Oh, just stayed right on that one, too. All right, Wes Hamler steps back in. Looking to put his game back on track. Mm -hmm. Nice ball for nine. Left a five pin standing. This is a big frame, too. I think the mark in this frame, West not only opens the gap, but I think may over that hump. It's going to force Mark to throw strikes. Yeah. Put Mark in a situation where maybe feeling that today's not his day. Right. And I think if you're West, you're thinking back to the fourth frame where you filled a spare with a three. Anything but that is what he wants now. Nice ball for nine. Look at this. One coming back. <laughs> Get the six pin standing. The 21 pin lead already. And he hits that one right in the face. Two marks in a row for Wes Hamner, and now Mark Hamilton will have to get up and do some serious work here. Yeah, Mark's got to get, get some marks here real quick. Seventh frame action from the town hall lane. Drops eight. It's got the, the three six left for a spare. Oh, again to the right. He's not getting his ball to come back up for him. This match certainly not out of it. 
out of control for, uh, for Mark. He's fortunate that Wes hasn't thrown a lot of strikes, but uh, he's trailing now 98-77. Of course, Wes working on a mark in the seventh as he goes off the right side. Mark has just not been able to find it. No. Struggling here as the bowl of the eighth. There's that a shot. A nice shot from Mark. But we know he can string the strikes together. Again, the form at the line. You can see where he hit between the uh, one and the two and picks up a nice spare there. Well, here come the strikes. There's a strike by Wes. He answered Mark spare in Ari, huh? Oh, with that, he stretches the gap just a little bit. Lead now 31 pins. He is knocking down pins. Eight count on the strike, and he's got one more ball to do something with it. Little mini split. Split. Beautiful shot. Well, Mark's got to throw a strike of his own here. He's running out of time real fast. And just couldn't get it to just come back. No. Everything's staying Everything out. Everything he's thrown, he's left out to the right. Trails by. 34 pins. Converts the spare. Two frames in a row now where he's converted nice spares, but uh, I think he needs to match some of Wes's strikes here to get back in the match. Let's see what happens in the 10th. Nope. Now, right through the middle for seven. Well, Wes is going to get that high single money this week. That's right. Didn't get it last week, so he figured, well, I'm going to yeah. stay around long enough to get it this week. And he ended our close games, too. He hasn't <laughs> been involved in a close game yet. Uh, 120 for Mark. Well, Wes is 138 plus a ball in the ninth. And his trademark. <laughs> I guess so, huh? Ended with a strike. Maybe it feels 172 isn't a uh, big enough number. Yeah, that's true. He's got a very nice set for the three games this week. Nice nine drop there. Well, he is locked in in a big way. Bear for West, 168. That's plus four wins in a row. That's right, 168, 120 decision for West Hamner. He'll join uh, our other three bowlers to make it a final four. We'll wrap it up for this week right after this.